Hi friends, welcome to another gab about some stuff. The stuff we are gabbing about today is my very first pair of Doc Martin boots. This box is heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Um, so this is going to be a quick gab followed by a little bit of styling. I'm hoping to offer a uh, Lux on the Bus perspective. So if you're somebody who walks a lot or takes public transportation or prefers to prioritize comfort over discomfort, I mean, clearly not comfort over fashion because that's why we're here, right? But um, just sharing some tips about how to make these beauties work for you. So let me show you which ones I got. First of all, I have been wanting these forever. By forever, I mean since I was in high school, and they were never within the affordability range of my family for high schoolers. There were four kids in our family, and there was no way that one kid was going to get a pair of shoes that cost what these cost, even in the 90s. They were close to $100. So I'd kind of always um, wanted a pair, and now as an adult, I'm like, okay, great, I got a job, I'll get them. So I got them. I also had been considering getting... Um, a luxury pair of boots but a everything doesn't have to be luxury right um b these are still luxury to me considering how there was a time when i really couldn't afford them and c i feel like these have a certain street cred and urban cachet and just um they carry their weight you know what i mean like they are iconic on their own they don't have to be a luxury iconic so Y'all, I went into the store because I was nervous about ordering online because I'd never ordered them before. I hear they're heavy. I hear um, some of them run a little narrower. Also, I'm pretty used to buying EU sizes, Italian size, but I don't really um, have a lot of experience buying UK sizes. These come in UK um, sizes. And so I just wanted to go in <laughs> and try some on. We have a Doc Martin store in Boston, so I popped in got upsold y'all they sold me <laughs> they offered me to purchase and i agreed the um wax to clean the soul clean the shoe it's called wonder balsam and it's supposed to keep the leather nice and prevent cracks and all that so it was like 10 bucks but i don't know i'm a sucker for the additionals i guess what Oh my god you guys this is the container and then this is how much is inside it's like half empty what? Also, in the store, she had a little sponge that she used to apply the wax. The sponge is not included. I gotta provide my own sponge for $10? Oh, okay then. Okay, Doc Martin, I see you. This will not be forgotten. I will not be buying this wax again, I guess. Like, whatever. They also, y'all, they also got me to buy extra laces because i'm a sucker and they knew it so you know i picked these out these were only three dollars but i like the contrasting color and i kind of roll like that like back when everybody was wearing the cole han um school shoe you know kind of thing i was big into those and i had like 20 different laces for them so whatever it's up my alley but y'all three dollars okay they're supposed to be made of some like super stretch bounce material that won't break anytime soon and stuff so i guess that's it and then here are the shoes sorry for the crinkling so loud with the crinkle papers oh mm. Ta -da! here they are here are my very first pair these aren't lined with anything at all and um i don't know any of the specs because i don't know anything about doc martens but i knew that i like these i went for a pretty moderate platform like i don't consider this a platform it's just regular but they call it a platform um they have some that are like i think the jordan models have like three inches of platform which isn't gonna work for me because i gotta get places um so that wasn't gonna work um also i understand this is a newer model to the brand where they've combined this um pebbled leather you see it instead of the smooth leather with this particular sole and this particular stitch with the eyelets apparently that all means something so for people who know about doc martens y'all let me know but i went for it because i thought they were cute i'm a sucker for a textured leather they feel so good they're so soft and i am told that they will still need breaking in but 
I don't know, I thought I'd start with a softer, squishier leather than a harder, stiffer, more polished leather. So that's them. Okay, so the other one looks the same. Here the two of them are. Um, I'm glad I had assistance picking them out because the sales associate was able to let me know that sometimes it's better to get a UK if I were a seven and a half US size, usually a 38 in um, Italian EU sizes. But she told me that for a seven and a half because they don't make half sizes, sometimes it's better to go with a UK five, depending on the make, you know, the type of shoe, the width. Um, and sometimes it's better to go with a UK six, which is closer to an eight, I think. So I was glad to have their guidance. They were super friendly, super helpful at the Boston Doc Martin, and I picked these up. Okay, so this is what they look like on their own, just sitting in my hand. Let's put together some outfits with some bags and see how I style these work utility boots.